Here I am in Hamilton, in the Waikato region of New Zealand, in my first ever outdoor video. I'm very excited, I've not been here before, I've got no idea what to expect. If you're a Kiwi watching, then you might know what to expect, but you could be overseas as well, who knows. But I've got no script, I'm looking forward to seeing the real Hamilton and experiencing a slice of New Zealand that I've never seen before. My first impressions, that's quite nice really. It's quite built up. Seems like there's a lot to do. I've just walked past a time zone, which is an arcade. So, you know, got all the essentials sorted. I, I heard some quite unsavory things about Hamilton. People saying that it's not that nice and that, you know, there's not that many brilliant things here. But first impressions, it seems great. I haven't been stabbed, so that's a plus. But the day is young, it's only 11 o'clock in the morning, so, so who knows? Who knows? Let's uh, keep our fingers crossed. Oh, I've just seen a nice little park style thing. So let's go and check that out, shall we? I'm crossing a road, hopefully I don't die. Someone actually said to me in the comments the other day that Hamilton drivers are apparently the worst in New Zealand. Whether that's true or not, I don't know. But, oh my God, look at this Christmas tree. Look at the size of that. Okay, that is bigger than the one in Wellington and Auckland put together. Look at it. That's absolutely huge. So as I say, it seems all right. It seems fine. There's a nice little, it's quite a colorful little, little square here. I mean, some of the shops are boarded up, but you know, it's not all gonna be Las Vegas, is it? Why did I say Las Vegas? What a weird reference. Well, there's some building works going on, so that'll be good for the sound, that's great. Oh look, there's a little fountain. Look at that, should we go check it out? Let's go see what the fountain's up to. Sorry, there's, there's quite a loud noise. Hopefully that's not too intrusive. Guys, you won't believe it. I found a sushi place. As you all know, sushi is my absolute number one favorite food. I say, as you all know, probably none of you know. It looks great, little hair salon here as well. Looks nice. Place to get your hair cut, just in case you didn't know what a hair salon was for. And look at this, look how nice it looks. Little fountain, the sun's coming out. Wow, come to Hamilton guys, this place is great. Hang on a minute, hang on a minute, they've got a stage. Don't know what happens there. Performances of some sort, I wouldn't wonder. Right, let's see what we've got. I hope that noise isn't too loud. I think they're taking down the Christmas tree. Yes, they are. Right, what have we got here? Oh. Okay, these places look pretty cool. Check this out. We've got, we've got a kebab place. We've got Uno Hair Salon. We've got Cozy Kitchen, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. We've got Bubble Tea Factory. I'm not that mad about bubble tea. I know some people absolutely adore it, but it doesn't, you know, doesn't light my fire. But this, on the other hand, looks incredible. Hang on. Kobe Sushi. Shall we have a look at the menu? See what we're working with. Wow, look at all this. Look at what they've got. Looks amazing. Hello, how are you? Please can I have just uh, one piece of fresh salmon? One piece of fresh salmon? Yes, please. Can I oh, just take away, please. That'd be great, thank you. That's it, thank you very much. Just met a really nice bloke called James who said hello and he watched my live the other day. It was a really nice bloke. I hope he has a good day. And I know I'm committing about 500 different sushi sins by doing this. No wasabi and no soy, but this gave me a little salmon one to take away on a napkin. And here goes. Let's see what we think. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God, guys, it's kicking off. Guys, it's kicking off. The rice is stuck to the paper. Okay, here we go, here we go. Oh, everywhere's closed, which is good. That's what you want. Um, nice little bookshop there. 25% of all Christmas books. What's a Christmas book? No, really, what is a Christmas book? Oh, we've got a little bakery. I think we know what that means. It's pie time. It's pie time. Okay, we're going to go into the hot bread shop bakery on the corner there and we're going to see if they've got any delicious pies 
but guess what? I think they do. Okay, here we go. Is it open? Is it open? Let's have a look. I'm excited for this. Oh, it's closed. Oh, brilliant. It's closed. That's good. That's what we want, isn't it? Nice and closed there. Wow. Okay. Burger Bro. Looks pretty cool. You've got the chili house. Looks great. You've got, oh, you've got Papadoms. Papadoms Delhi Cozy of South India. Ah, and now we've got a classic. Sal's Pizza. Sal's Pizza is, I would say, in my opinion, the closest pizza to New York that I've had outside of New York. But this, on the other hand, what is, what is going on here? What is this? Oh, I can't get there. Okay, I can't get there. It looks like it was a theater. Waikato Regional Theater. Okay, well, not anymore. Now it's just girders. This is the central bit where you cross the road. Okay, on we go. Let's see what else we got. Can I cross here? No. Nope. I don't get how these crossings work. Like, do they stop for you? No, I guess not. Is this guy going to stop? Oh, thank you. Thanks, mate. That's nice. Sal's again. Great. What have we got next? A subway. Classic. Classic Kiwi summer. Classic Kiwi subway. It's always interesting to me because people say that when you go to New Zealand that you've got to go to Queenstown and Auckland and Wellington and you've got to go skiing and you've got to see all these beautiful amazing sights but I was... Whoa! <laughs> that guy didn't care. That guy did not care about driving on the curb to get where he wants to go. Fair enough. What, you know, who am I to say any different? As I was saying, I think with, with going to New Zealand or going to any country, it's important to get away from the tourist attractions. And I know this is basic stuff and everyone knows this, but I don't just mean like the back streets of, a, of another city. I mean an entirely new place that you never hear about. And as cool as Hamilton is, before coming to New Zealand, I hadn't heard of it. I just hadn't, and that's the reality of it. But the fact is, you come here, the population is 180,000. 180,000 people with their own vivid, complex and unique lives living and working in this city. So why not come here and see it for myself? As we wait to cross the road, we can see the Waikato Society of Arts opposite us. Looks pretty cool. Not sure what's going on in there. About to find out. Let's have a little browse, shall we? Let's go in. 1901, 121 years ago. I wonder if they'll have a go at me for filming. I doubt it, everyone's been quite nice. Let's just see, let's just have a little look, shall we? Okay. Oh, this looks cool, this looks really cool. Terracotta, 1998, amazing, amazing. Kia ora, kia ora, kia ora. Wow, this place is beautiful. Wow, look at this. Can I film in here, is that all good? No? Yep, easy. Keep it wide, all good. Okay. Look at these beautiful artifacts. Wow. That's amazing. That's so gorgeous. Oh my word, look at them all. Some plates. Art from local artists, beautiful. Elwyn Stone, Wiper Delta, gorgeous. Wow, wow, wow. Toilets, Whanipaku, through there. Don't need to show you those, that's fine. Wow, look, they're absolutely stunning. Look at the little mugs. Look at that. 37,000, oh, $37. Okay, some more mugs there. Oh, and there's that beautiful mural. Look at that. Look at that massive tiger. Incredible. Okay, all right, let's get out of here. Oh, right, aircon. Now that is the best invention I've seen so far. Amazing. Well, this was gorgeous. What a beautiful place. I won't go in there because it might be a bit intense to film in there, but it looks beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Sit. After you. Thanks. Pleasure. Okay, that was fun. I don't think they were too happy about me filming in there because they said keep it wide, and I don't know what that means. Well, I know what it means, but I don't know 
why, but that's okay. Don't worry, they were nice. They're just doing their job. They're lovely people. Hari mai. Hari mai, for those who don't know, in Te Reo Māori means sort of like, come here, come in, welcome. And it's quite a nice thing to hear, especially when you're on the train, because they say, no mai, hari mai. Welcome to Wellington's Metlink Services. Yeah, I've still not nailed the accent. Hang on a minute. What's this? What is this beautiful little thing? Hang on a minute. What's going on? Who is it? It's... <gasps> it's Riff Raff from the Rocky Horror Picture Show. And there she is, Aotearoa. North Island, South Island. So we are here. That's where we are right now. Auckland is around there. Wellington is just down there. You've got Christchurch somewhere around there. Amazing, amazing. Oh, that's a little pub. Biddies, Guinness, looks good. Looks great, in fact. Although it is shut. Then again, it's midday, so, you know. Oh, hang on, what's up there? You see this? It's a poster for 660. For those who don't know, 660 is a band that news you can just see the poster just up there just a pink poster just see the corner of it New Zealand are obsessed also look at these things here right these awnings are an absolute for me when I first went to Australia in 2018 and then first went to New Zealand in 2020 it, the absolute hallmark of towns and cities down under are these awnings they protect you from rain it's brilliant back in the UK we don't have them so you just get really wet not ideal Rabo Bank. Now, from my time in Amsterdam, I know that's a Dutch bank. Not sure what that's doing here, but come one, come all, I say. Should we cross the road? No, let's keep walking. Why not? Let's have a look at some ads, shall we? Let's find a way to a better future, BNZ. Yeah, you could start with lessening the time it takes to transfer money from one BNZ account to another. That'd be a brighter future, wouldn't it? Ridiculous. And there it is in all its glory, the mighty Waikato River. Waikato is Te Reo Māori for flowing water. Waikato is the region in which I am filming today because I'm in the beautiful city of Hamilton. Here we are, the sign. Let's have a look, where are we going? We've got a 35 minute walk to Hamilton Gardens. I say we do it. Let's do it together. We're gonna to go along the mighty Waikato River and it's gonna be amazing. Let's see what we can find along the way. Some beautiful trees, all looking quite lovely. Oh, there's a little memorial thing over there. Let's check it out, let's see what it is. Hamilton is a perfect example of a place where you just shouldn't listen to people. People say that it's not nice. People say that places are rubbish or not worth visiting. I'm sure if you're from this country, maybe this isn't the most illuminating of places to be. But for someone who isn't from this country, and hasn't lived here their whole life. I love it. There's just so much to see. And the people are extremely friendly as well. That was one thing that I was told about, is that Hamilton, oh, you gotta watch out for the people. Nonsense. I'm sure, you know, there's certain areas you might not wanna go when it's late at night, or, you know, walking around with a camera. But the fact is, at least three different people have been extremely lovely to me, so ridiculous. A New Zealand McDonald's. There it is in all its glory. Complete with a New Zealand flag, no less. Very nice. God, it's small, isn't it? Look at that. But fair enough. That's what McDonald's looks like in Hamilton. Amazing. And even then, as I was just walking, a bloke walked past and just said hello in a really nice way. And that's what I mean. Don't listen when people tell you not to go somewhere because the places are bad or the people are bad. Because nine times out of 10, they just either had a rough experience once and they think you're gonna have the same one or they heard someone else say something bad about the place. Either way, go and see it for yourself. Don't listen to what others say. Just go and check it out. And here we have... a dude on a bike. The essential part of Hamilton. Hamilton East Masonic Centre. Not sure what goes on there, other than secret handshakes. Now we are coming to a New Zealand institution. I say New Zealand institution, I know it's American, or North American, but 
this country has quite an intense addiction to K-Fry, otherwise known as KFC. They love it here, they absolutely love it. And in fact, when there was all the lockdowns and all that sort of stuff going on, I know that there was a family of guys who got caught trying to smuggle something like 25 bargain buckets of KFC into Auckland. I may have made that up slightly, I don't know if it was 25, but I do know that it was a lot of KFC, and I mean a lot. Coffee Hub, coffee time. This place looks nice, and it's open. Goodness me. A place in New Zealand that's actually open. Now that is a sight to behold. What is that? Wool rest. Oh, they make gowns and stuff. Oh, look at that. It's one of those machines where the dry cleaning goes up and down. See, this is the thing, right? I'm easily pleased. I'm so easily pleased. I'm so easily pleased. What's this? It's a BYO restaurant. Time, it's called Times Square. Ah, uh, see what they've done there? Times Square. And what does that say on the window? On the door, sorry, closed. Classic. Okay. This is Christian Science. Okay. Wouldn't have put those two words together, but come one, come all. Do what you like, just be nice.